You don't like me, and I don't like you. But let's just do this, and I can get back to killing you with beer. It's a deal. Hello, Bots and Books fans. This is Scorp1701, and tonight we are going to be taking a look at the Jacks Pacific, The Simpsons, Homer Simpson. Now, this is a brand new line of figures from the company Jacks Pacific. And I don't think I've ever looked at anything from Jax before, but this is The Simpsons, and this is the patriarch Homer. And when it comes to The Simpsons and these lovable, lovable characters, you just gotta take a look. And I'm not sure if I'll do this entire line, because it's very reminiscent of a line that we saw back in 2000. But, it's new, it has a lot more to offer, so let's jump in and take a look at it. So, starting off with the packaging, it's a very nice white box, and the box is just fun. You have the Simpson characters all over this thing. Starting off, you have four plus up at the top. You have Bart looking all silly. You have Homer. You have Matt groaning. Jax, the Simpsons, trademark. Dun, 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 dun. On the top of the box, you have Marge. You have Maggie. You have Homer. Warnings! Dun, 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 dun. On the left side of the box, you have Lisa and the rest of Homer. On the right side of the box, you have the Simpsons and you have the character in the box, which is Homer. On the bottom of the box, you just have some credits for the box and a barcode. If that is of any interest to you, I'll scroll in so you can see that. Maybe that will help you find the toy on a shelf somewhere. And finally, coming around to the back of the box, you just have 20th Television, Matt Groening, The Simpsons, Homer, nice product shot of Homer there. You have Snowball 2, and you have some more credits for the box, and the first wave of figures, which include... Homer, Bart, Otto, and Groundskeeper Willie, and that is so cool. You got some more credits for the box there, and that is basically the box, and I don't want to see Homer in this box, and I know you don't, so let's get this guy out and see how much havoc he can wreak. And here we have Homer J out of the box, and out of the box, he stands a little over five inches tall. He comes with a box of mm, donuts, <laughs> which we'll take a look at in just a little bit. But first off, I want to take a look at King Homer himself. And coming real close in on Homer's head sculpt, now it is, without a doubt, Homer Simpson. And the Simpsons have always been kind of easy to make into figures and such. I mean, they have a very basic design, so all you got here is your nice yellow head. Homer does have his two little hairs here at the top. He does have his lines of hair going up and down through the back of his head. I like that. Some nice molded ears. The eyes are big and bubbly. <laughs> he has one little pupil there, a nice pointy nose, and his different colored mouth. I don't know if that's always supposed to represent stubble or it's just an odd coloring on his face. I've always wondered that watching The Simpsons over the years. And you have a closed mouth line right there and that will bring us down to his body so let's zoom out just a little bit and you can see he's just in his standard white collared shirt and that is really nice goes all the way down to his midsection coming around to the back nothing you wouldn't expect for the shirt you do got a little bit of copyright detail here on the bottom you have some nice yellow arms coming down to some yellow hands then he has his blue pants which is pretty standard all the way to the back some more copyright here on the butt and then that will bring you down to his little gray shoes and on the bottom you do got some peg holes so you can post him somewhere and that's pretty much going to be it for homer nothing you wouldn't expect like i said very simple design and this is basically a cartoon come to life and i really like it he looks great yeah homer simpson here you go <laughs> all right Moving on. And for articulation, now this is going to be one of the biggest differences between the 2000 Playmates figures and the Jax figures. The Playmates figures had minimum articulation, but the Jax figure here is fully articulated. Starting with the head, the head can go around 360 degrees. There's no wiggle waggle, it doesn't tilt up or down, but that's okay. The shoulder can come up from the body and then back down. It goes around 360 degrees. That is built into 
the main arm here, and the entire arm can go around 360 degrees. That will bring you down to your elbow bend, and that is pretty good, almost 90 degrees. In certain lights, it does look like it's 90 degrees. You do not have a forearm rotation, but you do have hand rotation, 360 degrees, and the hands are on hinges, so they can hinge in and out, up, are down depending on where you have it. You do have a standard waist articulation, 360 degrees there, coming down to your legs, and the legs can go up a little bit, not too far. Not so much back because Homer's butt gets in the way. You do get a little bit of side movement, and then back again, a little bit of thigh rotation there, and that will bring you down to the very nice knee bend. I love this knee bend. It's hidden really well in the figures. You can't really see it until you bend it and then it goes back really far so you almost got a good 90 degrees there i like that a lot coming down to your foot the foot can rotate 360 degrees around and that is pretty neat it feels like it might have some hinges in there so you can go a little wiggle waggle left and right but i think it's kind of stuck in this mold so that might be an issue there but for the most part this figure's articulation is super a lot of joints a lot of hinges and he can bend very smoothly i didn't have any issues with moving any of these joints around like some figures when you get them out of the box and try to move them around you got to heat them up because of the plastic this was really nice and smooth all right and that is going to be Homer's articulation. Moving on. And for accessories, Homer comes with this nice pink box of donuts. And the box is really nice. It actually closes. It's not just a flap that can come up and down. You can actually seal it. And then you can open it up. And you can look in there and see the donuts. Yes, that is really cool. There are 11 molded donuts in there. And that is really neat. But, but, but you're saying, Scorp, I see 12 donuts in there. Yes, you do. Because one can actually come out. And this is really nice. It is a Scorp sculpted donut you got some pink frosting there and there are some sprinkles molded in i guess it was too small for them to paint and then you got the bottom which is their standard brown glazy donut mm -hmm, yummy and there is a couple bites taken out of it which is pretty neat and homer can hold this and eat at this and hopefully it's not the forbidden donut which would make him have a huge donut for a head which is a figure that they could do later on down the road if this line succeeds which i have no doubt that it will and that is going to be homer's accessories moving on and for comparison here you have the jacks homer with the playmates homer from 2000 and as you can see they have the same deco which you need to have if you're going to do a cartoon character who never changes clothes the playmates figure is a little smaller compared to the jacks but the proportions of the head and the belly and the midsection down here are bigger. But that being the case, I think the Jax is better proportioned throughout. A few differences in the molding is that the Playmates has an open mouth, whereas Jax has a closed mouth. The hair on the Jax is standing up from the head itself, whereas the Playmates hair is just molded onto the skull, and that's okay. But for the most part, other than that, the colors are going to be the same in his clothes. So that is really neat. The gimmicks of the jacks that only had the box of donuts and he's fully articulated which is great the gimmicks of the playmates he had a couple more accessories but the main draw to him was on the bottom he had this little chip right here in his foot and you would post this on one of the play sets and whichever play set you put him on would have sound clips from homer and it would just be funny and hilarious and you could have him talk and all of the playmates characters were able to do that so i don't know the gimmick was okay but this is a 24 year old figure it needs to be updated with better articulation and looking at them both 
this is going to be the better figure. And I don't know. I think this is going to make me want to collect the entire line of Jax figures. And if they do as many characters as the Playmates line did, it's going to be a long, fun line. So I don't know. It's going to be up to you if you want to switch out your figures if you collected the 2000 Playmates line. But uh, the Jax figures are definitely fun to play with and, you know, comparatively, I think a little better when it comes to proportion and definitely articulation. All right, moving on. And for comparison here, Helmer is with a few other figures from different lines that we've looked at recently. And I think when it comes down to it, the Peter from the real Ghostbusters is the approximate height that he needs to be. There was that one time that the Simpsons went into the real world. And I think if that were to happen, the real Ghostbusters scale is perfect. All right. And that is going to be your comparisons. Moving on. And this has been the Jack Pacific, The Simpsons, Homer Simpson. And I had a fantastic time reviewing this guy. He was so much fun. I was a bit reluctant to pick him up off the shelf. I don't think I've done anything with Jack Pacific toys before, but this was a new line. It was a classic series, and it was Homer Simpson, my favorite Simpson. So those were all great reasons to give it a try, and I'm so happy I did. Now this figure has a great sculpt and mold to it looks exactly like homer simpson there is very limited paint the eyes are painted and the hair is painted but most of it is plastic which is good that means it's not gonna like fade over time the articulation for this figure is top notch you can turn and twist this guy any way you want and that's really cool the accessories the box of donuts is nice the single donut very cool could he have come with more possibly but you you're talking about a $12 figure, so you're not going to get a lot. What they gave us was pretty good, and I'm happy with it. So the big question is, should I collect this line or be happy with my Playmates figures? Now understand, your Playmates figures are 24 years old. They have limited articulation, but they have more accessories, and they have sound features, and play sets which is really cool but if you are looking to update your figures then yes the jacks pacific simpsons are a great line to go with i believe this line is going to explode they've already got exclusive figures like the bartman from walmart they already have a set of deluxe figures out and with wave two not getting here fast enough you got to know that this line is going to go the distance and they're going to put out a lot of these figures so if you are interested in the simpsons if you've loved the show you grew up with the show you want the figures from the show i would suggest jumping in on this line at the very beginning because i think they're gonna give us some deep cuts with these figures and i think it just might be a journey i would like to go on with if all the figures are as fun as Homer here. So we'll have to see, have to get a few more, see how they work. So if you are looking for Homer here, you can find him on the shelves right now at your local Targets and Walmarts. And he will go for $12 to $13, depending on where you pick him up. So if you're looking, happy hunting. And that's going to be the review, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great night. And until next time, keep playing. You tried your best, and you failed miserably. The lesson is, never try.